Hello everyone, this is Mundan Raghav. Today we are going to cover the new topic transactional controller. So far we have seen lot of things with the JMeter like a sampler, thread group, session and so on. And today we will try to jump into the transactional controller and we will try to understand first of all why do we need the controller. If you go to the JMeter like other things, you will be having the option to add the controller which is the logical controller. As the name suggests, it provides the logic to your samplers or the request. It can be if, transactional, loop, while, whichever the programming concepts we have seen so many times, that will be the same thing. Most of the time, we will be starting with the transactional controller and that's the one we are going to discuss today. When I tell about the transaction, it means that it's very relevant to the business. For example, if you go to the ATM machine, you will be having the balance statement check, you might be retrieving the money or you might be doing the different transaction. In the backend, the transaction may have a number of requests to the system. But in business wise, ATM money withdrawal is the one transaction which indeed obviously will have multiple requests to them. What happens when you record any transaction, it will be having multiple requests and you cannot limit yourself or you cannot group by default. For instance, transaction 1, transaction 2, transaction 3. In our sample also, we cannot segregate login, ordering, payment and logout. So this will be the logical flow or transactional flow that you have. However, if you start recording under the thread group, everything will be coming like this. That means that everything cannot be clubbed by default. So that's where logical controller will come into picture. Since we already decided a transactional controller, we are trying to group all the requests which comes under the same transaction. To understand better, we will go to the demo site which is the BLAST demo and we will try to understand what are the things we can do there. If you go to the site, it is a dummy site. For example, I can choose some places to go to the place that by using the flights. I am finding the flights here and I am just choosing the flight. And here I need to enter the basic details some dummy data and again I will be entering some information here and purchase flight. Then here it is the last page. However, we have other functionalities comes under the same application, comes under the same transaction. For example, if I go to the home, I will be having the login functionality. I am just using some dummy site. So it will be going to the 419 page expired since it's a dummy site. Even you can register with some details. Even you can mention the forgot your password and you can send some mail ID. Obviously it will be ending into the 419 since it's a dummy application. So within the application, now we can clearly understand there are a lot of transactions happening. One might be booking the flights, another might be payment, another might be register the user, another might be login user. Another might be forgot password. When you record it, you may be trying to record everything and it comes under the same thread group. What happens when you try to measure something on that different transaction? You cannot do that, right? It has everything in the sequential way. So in that scenario, we will be adding the transaction controller. Just see first two things. It's going to the URL and it is registering. And it is purchasing. So that means that this entire thing will be login, reserve and purchase. So what I'm going to do is like click add logic controller and transaction controller and here I'm just giving the naming login reserve purchase and confirmation even it might be a lengthy name but in simple it is like a flight purchase then I'm just clicking on ok Now I will just keep it here. Let add all these things. Next one we will see. Blast demo, home, login. And these are the register page, get request. We are getting the page for register. And we are giving some information to register. And the same thing. Now I can put it into the registration. Again one more thing. Logic controller, transaction controller, however it comes under the thread group, 
to be made parallel. Let it keep it here. Before to that, I will give name. It's a register. Now keep it this things. What about this one? Again, getting the register page. Here I am trying to log it directly and get method and password reset. So here this will be actual login. And this will be just expand and see home register. Okay, I think we have already registered page and we will be going to the reset. Let's create one more transactional controller. Might be reset password. And here, what are the things? Login, password reset, get, and resetting the password by giving the email ID. Now what about these things? So register page, login, and again going to the home page. So let it make it as a home page so that it goes to the home page again. Make a separate one. Logic controller, transaction controller, home page. Only cut these things and put it as a home. Now what about here register? I think we don't have anything. Login again, we don't need it, might be repetition, just we can remove these things. Now, what we have, we have some logical containers, or let's say the folder structure, where we can clearly understand how many requests comes for each transaction. The first transaction might be for login, reserve, and purchase and confirmation, whereas second one will be for the registration purpose, and third one will be for the reset password, and fourth one will be going to the home page. So this way when we segregate, what are the advantages we can get? In simple, when you put the aggregate report, that means that you can have the clear difference between the each transaction and its metrics. Try to add the thread group, sorry, try to add the listener and aggregate results or aggregate report. Yes. Now try to run it and see. Clear. Maybe we can add at the test plan level also no issues. As of now, I will remove the test recorder because try to avoid the time. Just I remove the uh, recording part where we can do the same kind of recording for the same site. That's why we had already the reservation and purchase confirmation request here. Now with that, let's see, go to the aggregate report. And here you can see some metrics are already available. That means that for each transaction level, you can have the, what is the average time, what is the median, what is the 90 percentage life. That means that if I tell, 300 milliseconds or 300 times, that means 90% of the request are below the 300. And you will be having the minimum and maximum and throughput and different things. Maybe we can have the separate session to understand what are the different other things and metrics and its meaning. As of now, we will try to run it. And here you can see at each confirmation level or each transaction controller level, you will have the aggregate report. That means that this transaction controller in total consisting of this many HTTP requests and it has total consolidated average, mean and 90% line and so on. The same way for each transaction controller level, you will be having the aggregate report. So this is the benefit you will be getting when you have the controllers, especially transaction controller, which help you to measure the metrics at the transaction level and even you will be having the detailed report under the transaction controller what are the different requests you have and which request has problem or more time. So this way we can clearly understand why the controller comes into picture. Even more than this there are a lot of other benefits when you have the other type of controllers such as like a module controller. For example let's go here and look for the module controller, logic controller and there should be a module controller. Yes, you know the concept drive, which means that don't repeat yourself. 
for example tomorrow i want to go for the home page again and again i don't need to create one more time the same request or same kind of controller for instance let's create one more logic controller and transaction controller let's say this is reusing reusing home page now what i can do is like sorry i should be adding module controller where you will be adding a module controller in case of if you want to reuse some of the existing controllers let's go to the module controller and mention here home now here you can see there are a lot of other things you can just go to the blast demo and here you can see the home that's all now we have the module controller which means that when I execute the module controller, it will automatically look for the transaction controller which is already existing and it will try to be using. Now let's clear it and run it one more time. Here you can see the module controller again is calling the controller form. That means sir, we are not again registering anything or we are not again recording anything. We are trying to use the existing modules. So this way, the controller, when you have the logical container of the different request, it can be used in the different ideas. For example, other kind of controllers such as like if controller, which means that based on some condition or variables, we can execute that particular controller. Or if you want to execute the same controller again and again, you can put it into the loop controller or while controller. And needless to say, we are not going to exclude or we are not going to include everything in our controller part. Why? Because Practically, you might be using only transaction controller and let's say the loop controller and the module controller and so on. If you want more details, there is a wonderful site which has all the details and description about the logical controllers, how to add and what are the different explanations that you need so that we can go through that. But in basic, controllers is the logical folder for all your requests to measure the performance at the individual level or at the transaction level. Even debugging will be very easy or you can produce the aggregate report so that you will have the idea as the aggregation level such as like a median, average and so on. So these are the benefits when you have the logical controller. And moreover, just like a bonus tip, I would like to share the another point. Now we have the bot which is equal to the chat GPT where you can ask you a lot of questions. For example, let's ask create a JMeter script for Google login. Let's see what happens. So it's telling clear explanation how to do that. So go to the JMeter test plan, create the thread group and URL for the Google login page, header manager and so on. And you will have the code snippet also sometimes. And let's say today we have seen the transactional controller. So what is transaction we can ask? See, as I told clearly, it is related to the business. That means a transaction can be buying a product from a store or selling or let's say making the ATM transaction. So the same thing you'll be doing with the software. So you'll be clubbing all the requests under the business transaction. The similar way, you can understand a lot of things here. Even you can write, uh, let's say, write the test case into the table format. Let's see, Google login test. Or let it be, it should be the login test case. Let's see. Okay, now you are getting all the steps step by step. Let's say I want to want in excel format let me ask one more time table format please yes I think we need to make this test case. Let's ask one more time. Create the Google login test case in Excel format. 
because until we ask the right question, we may not be getting the right answer. Here you can see clearly, it has created the a template for the test case where you have the test case ID, test case name, test steps, expected and actual results and the status of them. And even you can convert this into the, let's say if you have further application improvement, you can just put it into the Google sheet directly since it's from the Google. Now we have two options to explore more on whatever the learnings we can have. For example, it can be JMeter, Neo Load, or Blast Meter, anything related to testing or anything related to the development. We have two options now, Chat GPT and the bot. So it's just a bonus tip. You can just explore more on this. But as of now, we have completed the controller. So in summary, com controller is the logical folder structure to just put all the requests together at the transaction level or at the loop level. Even this container can be used or this controller can be used for the reusability, for example, module controller. And practically, we can have a lot of things. So all the information will be in this link. So you can use this link to understand the definition about each and every controller. And this is all about this video. So thanks all. Thanks for watching and have a great day.